Hi there, this is Jericho and this is a Wait a Minute production and today is a the oh the 12th of, of July 2013 and this place is open. What's the name of the place? Uh, I don't know what I don't know I don't know what to say. Uh, this is at the uh, Sunway Giza. So there are a lot of nice nice Gundams everywhere and the boss is around and I got the Gundam marker for like seven bucks each silver and gold it says it won't rub off so uh, hopefully it won't and 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 they pointed out where I can get thinner they don't have thinner god damn it in the infinite workshop in Aman Surya so yep and a lot of boxes here and I don't know this Voltron. Ooh, yeah, Voltron. Okay, and the G1 Transformers. Uh, I think the whole thing is dedicated to Transformers. A lot of Optimus Primes around here. And there's one with that cube of light, is it? Not sure. And there's the movie version Optimus Prime. And everything else. And we have the other Transformers and this, I think this is a Beast War, is it? Something like a Mammoth with the cube of something. Yeah, this is the Beast War or something else, I'm not sure. I didn't follow. The only thing that I liked was the G1 and also the uh, Beast War. Although I didn't finish the Beast War. And there's my favourite uh, Decepticon, the one that is a tank and also a uh, plane, fighter plane, the one in the back, the head on, is it called? I'm not sure. And the rest, I'm not so interested in. This one is just crap. Hmm. So, another place that they have Tinder is the one that is under renovation in uh, Jaya Times Square. And we have a Zaku there. Oh, at least Zaku looks pretty awesome, even though it's not coloured at all. Uh, he has a white mono eye. Hopefully, the one they are making would look as awesome as this. Hmm, that's a master grade. And there's a Psycho Gundam there. Wanted to buy one, but it wasn't available. And we have the ashtrays and the uh, don't know and the double O risers. Then we have the classic, classic Gundam from 08 MS team. Then we have the RX 78 2 and the Gundam and the swing from the Gundam Wing series. And we have the GPO one. And Ultra Man here and there. So this place is, looks pretty awesome. Although it, sometimes they are not open. Unfortunately for me, since I've been here twice and I never get to access what's inside. And we have an iron hide here. Looks quite good. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Predator King. I think this is the G1 version. We have the, what do you call that? We did the green one. Constructicon is a uh, Destructicon. The uh, Devastator. Oh, yeah. Sound wave. Uh, the Japanese version of Transformers. <laughs> Premium series, eh? Mm, don't like that. 
ตรงนั้นเลย Not many Gundams. We had the boxes. All Transformers. Iron Hide just now you saw. Is this one? How much is it actually? Two hundred sixty ringgit. For two hundred sixty ringgit, the articulation and also the the transformation and the detail is pretty pretty good. It looks pretty pretty nice. Hmm, two hundred sixty bucks. Good good. And this one is ugly one. It's a traitor, so it's ugly. This one is okay. Roughly the same price as well, but uh, looks okay. But Iron Hide actually looks much nicer. Of course, there's a super size one that's from China. Uh, okay, this one I saw this in IT Toys. Uh, this one is with the inner frame. Mm. Aha! Uh, we have a perfect grade, perfect grade GPO one or slash FB, transformable from full burner to uh, whatever, from a. Uh, From a Earth type to a space type, 850 ringgit. Oh my God, that's a spin sif. But it's a big box, very big box indeed. Then we have the Zeta, perfect great Zeta. Ooh, the design is actually very unique because the back there is like a pyramid or triangle. So this is about 720 ringgit. It's roughly the same price as anywhere else. So. And this one, this grey box, 160 ringgit for this uh, what you call Strike Gundam Ale. Yep, comes with ale. It's not bad. It's retail at 4100 yen. That means 40 times 320 ringgit, roughly. Almost okay. Oh my God, they have the Sasabi. What is this? 900 ringgit. 900 ringgit for this Taken Gua. Don't know about this, but this one. Oh my God, Sasabi Master Grade. This is a huge unit. This is a 312 ringgit, and uh, it looks very impressive from Bandai. It is a very big box as well, so similar to the size, the the, the box size of a uh, Gundam EXS, the ex extraordinary superior Gundam. <coughs> looks very nice, very nice, and it comes with clear parts. As the picture say, sees here, how much is it retail? It, it is retail at eighty hundred yen. That means eight times two hundred forty ringgit ish. Two hundred forty ringgit ish. Then we have the Infinite Justice as well. Uh, two hundred eighty-five. I want to collect this as well. This is this is awesome. This is really awesome. I think we have Neon Genesis Evangelion, the Nerf, the zero one test type, one four eight ringgit. I have ah, this is the one I was talking about, the same size box as the Sasabi, two hundred eighty eight ringgit. Hmm, I already have it. Thank God, I bought it four hundred ringgit. And we have the worker of this Amuri's thingy. He was featured in the Shars Counter Attack movie. And this one, double O Gundam Seven Sword, one hundred ninety-eight ringgit. I can actually purchase this one for like sixty ringgit. Hmm. Yeah, the Aegis, the double Zeta, transformable. From for me personally, the Z double Zeta is not as cool or nice as the Zeta. It has no distinctive uh, wing design at the back. This is a bit too bulky. I wouldn't recommend you transforming the double zeta into the fighter. Just leave it as it is, as the mobile suit. Then we have the zeta here. Death side from Gundam Wing. This one you can. This is 195 ringgit. It's from Bandai, and you can get this one at Bumi Utara for mm, less than 100. But it looks kind of dodgy. I mean, the one in Bumi Utara because it's by. Uh, company called GHD which is not so good in terms of high grades and also maybe in master grades 
so we have the seven sword eh? the double o riser which i got this for roughly 60 ringgit and here is 254 ringgit then i want to buy this one the astray rate frame is 195 ringgit uh, this bandai which of course will be pretty cool and the design for this at first i didn't like this design this shin musha gundam the shin musha gundam actually looks quite nice and the box is pretty big much bigger than an asteroid asteroid this one this one about one centimeter bigger so there might be must be a lot of a lot of runners inside and it's kind of heavy too it looks awesome the design is not bad not bad at all and this one Wusha Gundam MK2 with the, I think the trying to emulate the what colors the Titan colors 199 ringgit but I think I like the red one better the red samurai version better <coughs> can't believe they have Sasabi three boxes of Sasabi I thought it was hard to find there was only one that's uh, at Fantasy Toys Laureate but here they have three but of course the price tag is a bit expensive that's why a lot of people didn't like Sasabi <laughs> then we have the new Gundam 273 ringgit the new Gundam which is if I'm not mistaken based off the novels and it wasn't featured in any anime at all uh, to my knowledge then we have the RX-78-2 with the version 2.0 skeleton the skeleton was recommended by the YouTube reviewer RR Robert of Gundam TK dot something something it's 164 bucks got mine for 60 ringgit or so then we got Gundam RX-78 NT1 I haven't seen this before it must be the full armored version 170 ringgit 117 ringgit looks cool it's, this one is without the armor and here is with the heavy armor and there's a sign called Al Alex on its on its uh, shield and this is what I was looking for the sand rock sand rock was 148 ringgit it looks really really cool with that twin blades and I couldn't find it and now I found one hmm the only problem is money then we have the Gundam Unicorn, uh, what's this called? The Black Unicorn is it? Should be called the Black Unicorn. This one is sold very expensively in Jai Jasko. Definitely. Above 300 ringgit. Most likely. Then you have the GMs, the uh, mass produced versions. Then we have the Galgo. Oh, Galgo is 120 ringgit. It's quite a good price. And they have actually two types of Galgo. The Galgo Cannon and then the normal Galgok. Galgook, Galgo. This is an old, old box, so made in 1997. So I don't know whether they have the frame 2.0 frame or not. I guess they don't have the 2.0 frame. Hmm. This one is retail at 300 yen. Oh yes, they do have the inner, good inner frame. Looks not bad. The inner frame. Then they had the Galgo Cannon. The Galgo Cannon. 120 ringgit and all price at 30 hundred yen. Uh, the Galgo show sure looks very different. Very different. It is not one color. Or oh, actually, you can actually have it as one color as in red only. And my personal favorite mobile suit of the Xeon forces is the Goof. But this is not the one I think. This is the mass produced version. And the one that I like is the one that is custom made and it was shown in the 08 MS Gundam and it kicked ass that one with the Gatling gun and the sword and whatever cannons that is in the shield one of the personal favorites of mine other than the goof was the Kampfer which is German word German for fighter but these but it is, it is said that the size of this camphor, which is specializing in uh, offensive methods of warfare, this unit is actually pretty small. I'm not sure 
whether it's true or not after building it but it looks really awesome awesome possum it's 156 ringgit not bad not bad then we have the Q-Billy these are the normal things the Q-Billy, the Mara size, the Rick Domes and the RX-93 the RX-93 I'm not sure where it is from or what gun Gundam is from and we have this one I would like to call like a Rick Dome because of the very unique head the Mara size also because it looks like a Japanese warrior We have a blue Gelgok here. A gun tank as well. Gun tank is quite rare. And a very, very unpopular G Fighter. There are lots of boxes of G Fighter. Not that popular. And here we have the Astray. 79 ringgit hmm might as well buy this one this is a high grade you know it's a 1 out of 100 so it's a, basically a master grade size but this is actually called a no grade because I don't know how they actually classify anything then they have the Gundam Astray Gold frame also a no grade and we have the Seravi Gundam a master grade is it uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's a no grade because if there's a master grade, there will be an MG Gold logo. Hmm. Just for your information, I think this one was sold at Litak May or June 2013 warehouse sale for 98 or 90 ringgit. And here is 140 ringgit. Uh -huh. Looks like Litak is not so good at all. Then that region duel. There are a lot of a lot of Gundams here which are not available anywhere else. And this one I've never seen it before. This is a special box, is it? Most likely a special box. And the Astray Type F, I saw this review in the YouTube. But I have mine uh, which was like 30 ringgit and no grade is the white type, the white ashtray, so it is not the same. Don't know whether it can be like the my, my type, it can have a black mask or not because I it will take some time before I actually build it. Then we have the normal SDs, the super deformed ones, the cute Gundams, and I think that's it about all the Gundams there are here. There are no more Gundams, and we have the high grades. We have this one, uh, Titans MK2, Cubile as well. Uh, it's kind of small, not it's not to my fancy. Then we have the real grades, uh, high grades. I think I'm not gonna going to touch. But oh, this one looks big, the RG whatever, and the Zion. The Zion is huge. So basically this box it, which is cost 200 ringgit is basically should be a very big mobile suit and here we have the 234 ringgit GN Arms Type D which is should be very big there is another one as well this is the only green version there is a purple version if I'm not mistaken and that's about it uh, there's nothing much else to see then we have the normal something like XL would stock a lot of all these figures. Mm -hmm. Then we have a decapitated Obi Wan Kenobi with his head. With his head inside the same box. Okay. Messenger, I think it's called. I didn't see. I don't know. Then we have the Evangelion. This is a very old one. Two fifty. Mm -hmm. And gold version, hmm. or oh, the yellow version. Mm. No, no, no. What's this? Two hundred fifty ringgit for? This one I've never seen this before. Test type zero one. 
the colors are a bit different it's red 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 it's supposed to be green i think it's following the yeah following the the movie is it a two three point three point oh movie evangelion mm. oh. Ah, Starscream Masterpiece movie series Oh shit Holy fuck I have never seen this before This is It looks awesome I don't know whether you can see it or not But the detail within For, for this uh, Starscream is Excellent You can see all the red uh, Wires mm, And the Decepticon logo is so small on his forehead What can he do actually? Uh, the price reflects the quality I think 750 ringgit you can see everything does it transform yes it does but I know the transformation is one hell of a complex thing to do because as time goes by the Michael Bay films they made the transformers just too complicated to transform especially this one I've seen the transformation for this is it was very 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 hard to do And we have the robot thingies here, all done up already. And oh, there's a Sinanju here, which is quite expensive 200 ring, 220 ringgit for such a small size one. And you don't have the joy of building it yourself, whether it's a joy or not, that I'm not sure. But it does look quite nice actually. But the size is just too small, it's the high grade size. And we have the Sasabi here. Which already what one a high grade version must be the same size as this. This one is 220 ringgit, but I will take pleasure in actually building it, even though it's a high grade. It's much better than just buying it. This it's a totally different type of idea. Then for the gun gunbuster, the anime was pretty awesome, very good. I would say 4.5 stars out 4.5 stars out of five, definitely. Grand Nagan. I don't know why everybody likes Grand Lagan. It sucks. To me, it was just mediocre. Entertaining, yes, but not to the cult stage status that it is in now or was. Hmm. We have the new type of Transformers, the Combaticons. I don't like the colors. It's too fluorescent. Now uh, these are the imported transformers from Japan because it has all the katakanas there. And what who do we have here? Onslaught. Onslaught is supposed to be the truck that carries the cannon. Then we have Brawl, supposedly tank. Vortex is the helicopter. Swindle is supposed to be the jeep. Blastoff is supposed to be the space spacecraft. Soundwave as a vehicle, not as a poor man. Uh, and Bruticus. Eh? Okay, this is a different type of what you call it? Combaticons. It's different from the this one. This one is the future type. So many ones. Aha, the one is the G one. G ones are pretty expensive, 580 ringgit. But this one I remember because I remember having this Vortex. Vortex was the one that I have, but I don't know where it is now. Most likely in a rubbish, rubbish heap somewhere in India or Africa. <laughs> and we have the Constructicons. G ones. Transformations were not as complex as they do now. And uh, I forgot what's the name already. Fortoresu Max Makishi Masu Fortress Maximus. Yep, Fortress Maximus. Hmm. Oh, this one sure looks like what's his name? There's Soundwave. There's. Uh, this is another wave 
the guy who who actually guards that uh, transporter Cybertron something something what's this called already mm, I forget I forgot what was the name of that dinosaur ah oh, oh my god they have the Starcom the Starcom symbol do they actually sell Starcom toys? I don't think so it's so old In the 80s, Starcom was all the rage because they have the mechanism of pushing one button and you can open the cockpit and also open the weapon doors and whatnot, like a e sound. The gun tank RX 78 Bruticus looks very nice here. I think it's a China type of Bruticus. This Bruticus, ah, this one is—is is it China made one? Um, it's a it's not China made like It's a third party. Those fans oh, they oh. created by themselves. Oh, okay, that was a third party one. Yes, I think there's another third party one. The Constructicons, Devastator looks very awesome there. And we have the Predator King. Predator King is here. Looks very bulky. Very bulky indeed. And that one sure looks like War Machine, but 